Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern Team and Keller Williams here again for another Stern Team Market Minute. So 2023 had its challenges that many of us faced. And as we come out of 2023 and springboard into the new year, what does 2024 hold for us? And here's what I can say is if we go back to 2008 and the Great Recession and you know it took a couple of years for everything to work its way through and then all of a sudden life got back to normal 2010, 11, 12 and before we knew it, we had a normal market up until the craziness of uh, like 2019, 2020. So as a team that was there in 2008, same team is here in 2024. We've got the experience, we've seen it all, and we're gonna guide you through those um, obstacles and or challenges as they approach. Now, let's get back to 2024 because we're off to a really good start. And I, I wanna first start with affordability because right now we're trending this year to end off about a three and a half to 5% appreciation. That is growth on the value of your home. And economists like to see about 4%. So we're right in line there. So if you're a homeowner, that's good news. If you're a buyer, it means that the home that you're looking to buy maybe next year is gonna probably be more expensive than it is right now. Now, inventory constraints seems to be probably one of the biggest things that people ask me in the market. How many homes do we have? Are the homes still in low numbers? And the answer is yes. And just this morning, I was looking at the absorption rate for the Wasatch Front, which simply measures how long it takes for a home to work its way off the market, assuming no other inventory comes on. Here's what it showed. In January, we were at 4.9 months of inventory across the Wasatch Front. And the end of February, starting March, we were at 3.8. When we get to three months or below, that means we're in a really solid seller's market. So we are trending that route so for buyers out there that are concerned about interest rates, which I'll touch on in a moment, or that home prices maybe are gonna drop, which I've already dispelled that they're not, now would be the time to get out there as a buyer and get into the buyer market, buy your house now at today's prices, okay? Because inventory is telling us that it's gonna be harder for buyers to compete as those numbers drop. Now the elephant in the room, it's gonna be interest rates. And we've seen you know it go up and down over the last couple of years. In fact, last year we got just over 8% nationally, most of the national folks, whether it be Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, any of your large banking systems are suggesting that 2024 will probably end up at around six and a quarter percent, okay? So the days of 3% or 4% have passed us. And in my opinion, they're not gonna be coming back, especially the threes and below. So if you're a buyer, you may consider with prices in increasing and rates starting to stabilize to get into the playing field now, buy at today's prices and rates, and then when rates go down, go ahead and refinance and save you know, some money off your mortgage payment. So that is a glimpse of 2024. Just like any year, I think it continues to affirm to us and the marketplace that having a solid realtor who has the experience and the expertise to guide you through a transaction is still at a very high wanted level. So if you have a question or need help, reach out to us, give us a call, email us because we'd love to help.